Thanks for joining us today. Welcome to the video series on the five functions of developing a theory of change. This series is produced by the Capacity Building Center for States and funded by the Children's Bureau. In this module, we're going to break down the third task in developing a theory of change. Develop the pathway or pathways of change using causal links. Remember, at this point, a team has established the starting point and end point of their change initiative by documenting the problem and the desired long-term outcome. In this video, we will talk about developing the pathway or pathways of change that outline the milestones that will help the team reach their long-term outcome. A team does this before moving on to defining actions and documenting the rationale. Let's get started. First, let's take a minute to clarify what we mean when we talk about the causal links that make up a pathway of change. Causal links connect the root cause or causes of the problem to the long-term outcome and are best when they focus on desired conditions, results, accomplishments, or changes. They help teams identify what must unfold to achieve the desired outcome and together make up a complete pathway of change. Causal links are not strategies or actions, but are more indicators that tell the story of how success will be recognized at each level in the pathway. By thinking about who or what needs to change, how much change is needed, or how long it might take to bring about change, it will help teams to develop links that are feasible and offer ways to track progress. Consider using causal links instead of strategies. Let's take a look at some examples. Consider the difference between saying agency culture embraces youth voice and youth are invited to participate at planning meetings. While inviting youth to participate at planning meetings might be a good strategy or action, it does not address who or what needs to change or the results that might achieve the outcome. When determining causal links, try asking questions like who or what will change, how much change is needed, or how long it will take to bring about the necessary change. Using research and data to justify each link or step in the pathway can help teams identify the potential for multiple paths that lead to the long-term objective and to consider whether they can address each path or need to focus on a single one. For now, we will work through the process of developing a single path. However, there are examples of multiple pathways in the Theory of Change brief for you to review. Developing the pathway of change with causal links is critical to the theory of change and the change and implementation process. It is the roadmap that will guide the agency through the changes they are seeking. The pathway of change shows the team the changes that must unfold to get to the desired outcome and illustrates a logical progression from the root cause of the problem identified through each step and the pathway to the long-term outcome. The pathway of change is also the foundation for selecting the right intervention to address the root cause of the problem and guide strategic planning through the process. There are several approaches to developing a pathway of change through causal links. Let's take some time to walk through two popular options, the staircase approach and the so that method. The staircase approach instructs teams to think about a staircase that leads from the root cause or causes to the outcome with each stair along the way becoming a causal link in the pathway. If we can imagine a staircase that has the desired outcome at the top and the root cause at the bottom, then we can see that the staircase can be used by teams in both directions. Teams can start with the long-term outcome and work backwards to identify the changes or conditions that need to occur at each step until they reach the earliest change that addresses the root cause or causes. Or teams can start with the root cause or causes and work up the staircase with the progression of changes or conditions that eventually lead to achievement of the outcome. With either method, teams will then need to review each step in the staircase and confirm with why or why not questions. For example, in the Kansas Intensive Permanency Project, example from the brief, teams might ask why should resources be dedicated to improving ineffective parenting practice. In order to answer it with the next step or causal link, because strengthening parenting and communications creates a more adequate and pro-social environment for children. Teams can also use this method to discover steps or causal links that come before. By asking why not, you can move backwards, finding dependencies in a staircase. 
For example, if the team knows parental communications are not creating a pro-social environment for children, they may ask why not to determine that resources need to be dedicated to improving parenting practices. Now let's take a look at the other approach to develop a pathway of change through causal links, the so that chain. This method involves teams considering the dependencies in the pathway of change through a series of so that connectors between the causal links. This method is sometimes helpful for teams to visualize that each causal link is dependent on the one before it and can illustrate when there are two causal links that may need to happen at the same time by replacing the connector so that with and to show that two of the links occur at the same time. In the example, the team starts with the problem statement of resources are dedicated to improve ineffective parenting practices and to connect parents with community resources, social supports, and mental health and substance abuse treatment services. They then build the first so that link to a more adequate and pro-social environment for children is created. Continuing in this way so that child functioning increases and behavior problems decrease, so that there is readiness for family reunification, so that there are more timely and stable reunifications. As teams move through the process of developing a pathway to change, it will be helpful to consider the following strategies. Think about what changes need to be in place before the next one can occur. Asking why or why not questions to connect each step or causal link in the pathway. And focusing on including results, conditions, changes, accomplishments, and or requirements. It's time to check in with our example. Remember, the team has gathered the information about the problem statement, root cause, and target population, and they have identified a long-term objective to give the team an end goal. In the example, the team has identified two root causes. They have used the so that method to develop the pathway of change for each root cause they have selected to address. The first begins with child welfare agencies lack access to qualified staff in rural counties. Moving to expanded qualifications allow for a broader applicant pool, to increase access to degree programs in rural areas, supports are available to complete human service degrees, will lead to a broader pool of qualified candidates so that more rural positions are filled with qualified staff. The second root cause is that competing demands divert attention from closing investigations. The team begins with a causal link of policies allow specialization in counties with challenges and agency infrastructure supports specialized caseloads so that specialized child welfare staff focus more time on closing investigations. The team uses the connector and instead of so that to show interdependencies, that some of the links will need to happen at the same time for the next link in the pathway of change to take place. This example also illustrates how links help the team meet the identified long-term outcome to close 90% of investigations within the required 45-day time frame. The team looks like they are on their way to a good plan. What do you think might be their next step? The next step in developing a theory of change is defining actions. Let's take a moment to check in on what you've learned about developing a pathway of change with causal links. Why do teams develop a pathway of change with causal links? To illustrate the changes that need to occur to achieve the long-term objective, through a logical progression and to set the foundation for selecting an intervention. How do teams develop a pathway of change with causal links? By using the staircase or so that method to identify the changes needed to achieve the long-term outcome. What can help teams develop a pathway of change with causal links? By thinking about what needs to be in place for each link to take place, asking why or why not questions at each step, and focusing on desired results instead of actions. Now take this a step further by reviewing the reflection questions for develop a pathway of change with causal links in the Theory of Change workbook. We look forward to seeing you in our next session on defining actions.